hello in last video we discuss about the habit and habitats of pigeon that is an example of class eos now the next topic of this unit that is the external features of pigeon so let's start with the topic external features of pigeon so picture of pigeon this figure showing the different parts of pigeon here is head then eyes nostrils scales on legs then this long tail wings and neck so the body of pigeon is broadly studied into three different parts first one is shape size and coloration second one is division of body and lastly the appendages so first we discuss about the shape size and coloration of pigeon so the shape of pigeon it is the pigeon is of boat shape or spindle shape or fuji form body which is adapted for rapid flight then the next the size size of pigeon it varies but the length it is average length of this pigeon is 33 cm in length then color of this pigeon except the eyes and feet which are pink rest of the body of pigeon is salty gray with glistening metallic green so this is a shape size and coloration of pigeon shape is boat shape spindle shape or fuji form then size it is 33 cm and color except that of eyes and feet which are pink rest of the body is salty gray with glistening metallic green then next second division of body body of this pigeon is divisible into four different regions that is head neck trunk and tail so firstly head so the head of pigeon is small rounded and mobile the different parts which are present on this head of pigeon that is one is beak and nostrils eyes and auditory aperture so the beak the head bears a short straight and pointed beak formed by elongated upper and lower jaws and there are no teeth in the jaws so this is one of the characteristics of class air that is birds and this jaws remain covered with a heavy sheath this heavy sheath is known as rampo thika then second part nostrils which is also known as external nares so at the base of upper beak a patch of naked whitey swollen area of soft skin which is called as operculum or cirrhi the cirrhi orangs in on two oblique slit like external nares or nostrils which can be closed by the cirrhi so this is a this part is present on head region then third one is eyes on either lateral side of the head is located a large eye the eyes are round and are guarded by upper and lower eyelids and a transparent 
थर्ड आई लीड और निकटेटिंग मेम्ब्रेन इज प्रेजेंट सो देर इज आई इज लोकेटेड ऑन लैटरल साइड ऑफ दी हेड देन फोर्थ पार्ट इज इज प्रेजेंट इन हेड रीजन दट इज ऑडिटरी अपर्चर सो बिहाइंड ईच आई देर आर एन एक्सटर्नल इयर ओपनिंग इट इज कवर्ड बाय फीदर्स एंड टिम्पेनिक मेमरी सो दीज आर द फोर डिफरेंट पार्ट्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन अ हेड रीजन वन इज बीक नॉस्ट्रेल्स आईज एंड ऑडिटरी अपर्चर then next so this figure we shows head region where is the position of external ear opening eyes see the nostrils which is present on the upper jaws of beak then the second part neck so the neck of pigeon is long cylindrical and very flexible flexible it serves for the handling food and balancing the body then third part of body is trunk so the trunk is compact and spindle shape a large and transversely elongated cloacal aperture opens ventrally at the hind end of the trunk the trunk bears one pair of wings and one pair of legs then the fourth part of the body is tail so after the removal of feathers it can be seen that the true tail is very short conical projection of the trunk known as europygium it bears a group of elongated tail feathers or rectrices on the dorsal surface of this europygium a papilla bearing on its summit opening of a preen or oil gland so this is a one of the characteristics of class a that is there is no any other skin gland except the preen gland present in birds it is the this preen gland is the only cutaneous gland found in birds which secretes oily substance for lubricating the feathers and beak it produces a specific recognition scent and it elaborates ergosterol which when exposed on the feathers is transformed sunlight to vitamin d then the appendages so third part there is two types one pair of wings and one pair of legs so this figure showing the appendages so this four limb which is modified into a wings which are present at the anterior region of trunk at the re at the time of rest the wings lie on the lateral side of the trunk as a folded z form and each wing has three division that is upper arm upper arm then forearm and hand the folds of skin extends between upper arm and trunk and also between upper arm and forearm the former fold is called as post patagium and the latter is known as pre patagium both these patagia are greatly reduced each hand has three clawless insignificant dip digits so this first digit second digit and third digits then the posterior part of trunk bears a pair of legs or a 
working purpose on land. <coughs> so his legs it is connected with the trunk near its posterior lateral side. This thigh portion of the hind limbs runs parallel to the body and during the rest remains under the cover of wings. Each hind limb is provided with four toys of which the first one is called as hallux. So this is the first digit which is known as hallux, the second digit, third digit and fourth digit. The upper part of hind limb is feather but the lower part covered with scales. So this is covered by feathers and this is covered by the scales. All the toys are covered with sharp and pointed claws. At the time of flight the hind limbs are kept withdrawn and released like the wheels of an aeroplane immediately before the landing. So this is all about the external features of vision which is studied in in three different or shape size and color the division of body appendages so shape is boat shape for rapid flight size 33 centimeter color except eyes feet which are pink rest of the body is metallic green then the body is divisible into head neck trunk and tail the head bears four different parts beak nostrils eyes auditory aperture then neck drum and this tail this tail bears a train of oil gland which is only cutaneous gland found in birds and lastly the appendages one pair of wings and one pair of legs so this hand four limbs are modified into wings and this one pair of legs which is present at the 